Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with some more Inkbound. Uh, today is Magma Monday, so we're going to go ahead and go through that. But before we do that, I just want to put a little bit of a brief forewarning that uh, I have now since moved my computer, and therefore, like, air quotes, my office, in my house. I am now in a completely different room, so the acoustics are probably different, and I may have fiddled with something with my... Uh, you know, my OBS or like my hookups and done some damage there. So if you notice absolutely any issues as far as audio, please feel free to leave that down in the comments below because you know, just help me help you help me make a good experience for you. All right. Uh, unfortunately, if you're the issue that you're hearing is a little whiny bitch noise, I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry. That kind of comes with, uh, that, that, that's my, a me problem. I can't fix that. Uh, otherwise, on the same note, since I moved a whole bunch of stuff, kicking up dust, I'm now technically in the room where all the cats used to be. So um, that means that uh, I'm probably going to have a lot of allergies for like the next week, possibly even further beyond that. So just be aware of that as well. Anyways, back into Inkbound. Oh, what? We got money. Cash. Okay, so Magma Miner. I'm feeling pretty good going up against Argala. Like, um, we're obviously going to have to solve damage. Uh, not damage. Well, also damage, as always. But uh, we're going to have to solve defense more than the other two options, as per usual. But I feel like we can go ahead and decide that that's going to be our what we're trying to do today some more money gosh dang could almost re-roll this anyways what are we looking at here um a little bit of sweatstone is pretty good turn one damage but otherwise does like literally nothing for us so like let's say that all these things crit right that's um 17 debt let's say 35 damage plus another 60 damage that's 100 damage that isn't necessarily upfront, if that makes sense and then, of course, we get heat, so it's not exactly... It's 100 base damage, since it's a multiplier from uh, heat. Um, It's going to feel good, the first two fights, but then this is going to stop doing stuff. Because charging your crits isn't... Like, it... it <laughs> you might as well just have, like, something that's uh, on turn one, have this much uh, ability power, in my opinion. It's just a, it is an interesting way to go about that though, because you obviously have on crit effects and stuff like that. So this could be good, but having it offered at the start of the run, I'm not going to grab this and then try and make it work. We're probably going to go with Spear of the Gods. Helps us trade a little bit better. It might save us one or two HP and uh, yeah, two uh, physical power, which is good because it brings us um, above uh, 36 on our bonk. Otherwise, or Bullockum, maybe. I could see it. But uh, we don't start with any means of doing magic damage. This would pretty much be we grab our orb at the end of the turn. Just to make it so that... Um, what am I trying to say? Our burn damage does like 50% increased damage. Uh, that's a bit too finicky for me. Like I'm not against doing it, but I have the option to just straight up not do it so um i'm thinking scorching leap here it's just uh pretty much bread and butter for magma miner if you want a single target boss um wealthy is on Giannis. Mm. interesting <laughs> i probably shouldn't but i will Okay, so we took the greed of money. We're going to grab some more money. We need to have enough to buy our way out of our current problem, which our current problem is, guess what? We got to fight Giannis. 
which uh, I'd say quite a few people have a lot of trouble with it because of the fact that he just gains damage as you go. But we have a little bit of DR, which if we can find just one more source of DR, we'll actually start adding up to something. And we've got a little bit of damage. You know, just a teensy teensy bit. That seems pretty good to me. Keep this orb here for next turn. There's no reason for us to be grabbing it here. We'll use it in order to get on top of these guys. I think we're going to trade with this gentleman up here. Uh, like, we could maybe, like, dispatch him if we bonked him a whole bunch of times, but I don't think that that's going to happen. These guys having overachiever just, uh, it makes this a bit rough. And I would like to take care of a couple of them. We will get our... Our shielding, so I'm not concerned about that. Let's start wiggling down now. Pick up this orb. And then would I be able to beat you if I... I don't think I will. But we might as well take a look. Yeah, no, that's not even close. Let's just back up. So maybe we didn't need that last orb. I was thinking that maybe we could make that with the uh, extra fizz damage. Turns out, no, like, he's just a beefy boy. Anyways. Let's go ahead and take care of the rest of this here. I did not count. And now I'm going to take 11. I thought I had one more bonk to wiggle with. That is 100% my fault. At least we had DR reducing it by 2. <laughs> uh, good news. Nothing good here. So we can afford to heal ourselves. See, that mistake never happened. Winners write the history books. Um, I can see a strength in Smash here. We're probably going to need it for Giannis. Otherwise, like these other options really don't entice me much. So you've got the style, but have you got the touch? I'm thinking Cleave could definitely solve our problem with Giannis. I like Blink, too. Blink can give us uh, evasive with purples, and that's pretty dang good. Uh, because, well, again, Argoloth is going to be hitting us with a lot of tentacles. Otherwise, I think we're going to just do Cleave here because um, it helps solve Giannis. And that's really all we needed to do. Like, if it starts doing damage in the late game, like, kudos to us. We did something. You're fizz resistant this turn? Why must you be like this? Um, I'm wondering if I want that power orb. But yeah, I also just realized that uh, the reason we took 11 damage that, uh, that last fight was because I took that orb that did absolutely nothing for us. So we had negative two will. That's why I miscounted. I was counting for me to have three will. So uh, if you learn anything today, you should learn don't be like bits. I want you guys to be smarter than I am. Okay, now you're no longer fizz resistant. We can cleave all of these guys over here. Looking pretty good. Um, we're gonna just wiggle our way up here. Cleave everything. We're gonna take this orb. I think leap down here and then leap. Because then you guys have burn on you. It's going to do a little bit of work for us. And just in case we want to push, we're going to stand next to the... While well, that orb disappeared. Okay. Okay. So I completely put myself out of position. Because I forgot which orb I picked up. God, it's just been a record day for me, hasn't it? 
You guys aren't really attacking us. We can do without that. Um, go ahead, leap on you, I guess. I would like to get the two of you. I'd also like to stop dealing damage to you, if possible. Are you... There it is. Okay. Gonna take most of your health from the burn damage, and then I'll be able to finish you next turn. Not really feeling the heal here. Not really feeling the crit damage. We can take the magic power. We don't know what our second drafted binding is going to be. Um, I'm willing to... I usually don't put anything on cleave. Except for maybe like plus five. Like bleed. So plus two bleed on a common is more than worth it for me. Lucky horseshoe crab will help us against Giannis. We love to see it. Um, let's get some... Uh, no, we can't do Extracting Bunk. Come on, Sybils. The problem is, is that I always pick Will Thief. But I also always want Extracting Bunk. I think they fixed that bug anyways. I should really stop valuing this so high. I see this and I'm like, this is a one boss. Because for whatever freaking reason, it was like, uh... It wasn't 100% versus bosses, but it was incredibly high. And you could go nigh infinite on them. So, if that's the case, then what the heck are we doing here? Uh, critical smash, it's something. It might crit. Like, okay. Uh, breaking cleave just to get shatter on the build. I honestly think this might be a reroll. Because the... The green here is Shattering Bonk, yeah? It's Smoldering Bonk. Who gets Shatter at green? Am I thinking about uh, Obelisk? Anyways, I done scuffed it up. Uh, I'll take Bolstered Cleave, why not? Get a little bit more base damage in there. I'll take Razor Sharp Cleave, why not? Otherwise, Dense Leap is huge. That's a lot of damage. Like, both of these are going to add, like, a ton of damage. This is another 50 damage per turn against Giannis, who we are kind of scared of. This is... Like, uh, 50 damage every other turn against Giannis, who we're kind of scared of. We're gonna be leaping on him anyways, because that's how we stack our burn... You know what? I think we'll just put the bleed stacks on it. I don't know. Um, where are our purples going? Could do AoE smash. Leaping strike is likely going to be cooldown reduction. And then shield on hit. Could go on Bonk. Multi-Bonk is pretty good for us. Okay, so we're going to put it on Bonk. Maybe more damage on Bonk? I don't know. We also don't know what our purple is. We could probably use Glyphs. But we might just hit up a Vault. Kind of hoping for something that we can actually use. Okay. That seems pretty good. The only other question I might have is, is it actually better for me to leap here? 
get some burnout. Wiggle down. Power orb would allow me to wiggle some more. I'd be able to hit all of them. Really didn't make that much of a difference. Meep, 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 meep. And you're dead due to... Yeah, that made literally no difference. Come on, Magic Pixel has to exist. There it is. Actually, let's do something a little bit like this. really not a fan of this situation. It's not like I can do much here. Well, I can get rid of, uh, well, I'll get rid of five damage, but then he's going to explode on me for one. So then we're going to take a total of eight damage thereafter. Okay. That orb spawned a long ways away. This is terrifying. Maybe I should have taken that 60 damage leap, huh? These guys honestly aren't doing that much damage to me. So instead we'll go for a little something like this. Okay. This fight should be over. Hopefully. Because we are taking heck of tons of damage. Okay. Uh, we are not going to take Whispered Invitate. I suppose if we didn't want the damage resistance whatsoever, we could take that. But for one extra will, like, if you're going to offer that next to Quill Charm, it needs to do a little bit better. Burn damage is notable here, but we probably need to heal. Plus one shield per enemy hit. We want that. Incendiary seems good for us. Good old Incendiary. Could also have seen Jinx there. But we're going to have trouble... Like, I suppose we use Cleave and Jinx in two separate instances, so it's not really like it's bogging down our will economy. We just always have a point where we want to spend something that costs two will. 
and that's a difficult situation to be in. All right, I'd like to buy a bill, please. Parsimonious is out of the question. Uh, Verdant Blossom might just, <laughs> might just be what we need. Uh, we're certainly taking a lot of damage. We're going to reroll this, though. Uh, Miner's Gloves, pretty dang good. And free physical power. KG's Cage isn't bad either. Like, combined with our tiny bit of damage resist, like, 30% less damage from enemies, or an enemy, the closest enemy, which is likely going to be Giannis, actually adds up to quite a bit of health. Um, I think we can buy all three of these. Question is, is do we reroll? I think we can. Excuse me, the up tier for unstave? I am inconsolable. Why would you do this? I think we could take Valmark. Blooming Un is all... Like, what are these up tiers? Holy... This is supposed to be a white. What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> this up tier twice? Oh, dear lord. Um... I could see an argument for Blooming Un. It is damage. It's not reliant upon our, um... Our HP. Uh, and it's 50 damage to things that we've already burned. But, of course, we're Magma Miner. So, <laughs> so um... Yeah, it's... Dare I say this might be better. It's better for our single target, at least. If we can find a way to burn literally everything, then we're going to be pretty good. I'm wondering if we honestly need to use the Lucky Horseshoe Crab, because I'd love to save this for, um... for Argoloth. Well, you know what they say, right? Fuck around, find out. Where are we about to find out? Okay, and then we're going to... Are we going to hit you with this? Maybe we're supposed to hit you with this. Orb. Wiggle. And then hit you with this? Miner's Gloves coming in uh, in handy here. And then you phase. Okay. Okay, game. We do have to deal with him now without Cleave. Why are you still phase shifting? Did I really get you with the smite, actually? I'm going to assume that's the case and not put in an F8. Okay, so that means that we can deal with these guys a little bit. I'm going to deal with you. Since, um... I forgot to count yet again. Did I forget to count? Was I wiggling? I felt like that should have been in reach. Multibonk will take care of that. This is a lot of enemies. You guys are going to think that I'm mad. Maybe I am. Okay, fight's over. We'll trade a little bit of HP. We get healed at uh, the Sea of Ink anyways. Looking pretty dang good. Excavate? Crater? 
Crater seems pretty dang good, especially if we reduce its cooldown. Has a huge area of effect. Um, doesn't increase the cooldown so that we can actually bring the cooldown down to one. Like, it's just much easier for me to use than Excavate. That said, Excavate, like, I don't disrespect it. Like, this thing will win you the game simply because it makes you money. Like, <laughs> Kate... Like, it's why I uh, always take Will Thief over any other option. Money wins you the game. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take Crate. Let's make sure. Oh, we weren't going to take, like, Critical Leap or anything like that anyways. Um, do we want to reroll for Multibonk? No, I think Feeling Incendiary is fine. We should have things burning most of the time. We love that damage multiplier. Uh, now, give me Crater. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Oh, uh, brain tuna. Seems good. I will take one shielding, please. I'm looking at the screen. You can't see it. I think that our AoE is good enough for Radiant Market, dare I say. And Overstimulated isn't a bad mod. We just take two damage. We just gained a shielding, so it pretty much just goes straight into that. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I, I think that we can handle it. It's not like we're going Orbonk or anything, because we took Wealthy. Yeah, I think... I I think this is completely doable. Otherwise, Gunkfield, we're going to occasionally take four damage to. Because, like, I'm bad at the game. And keep forgetting that I take Gunkfield. <laughs> so this is, uh, like, this is an equivalent amount of damage. The question is, is do I think that Radiant Market is easier for me right now than Garden's Edge? Because this, this isn't happening. I'm sorry. Like, I suppose I could get away with it. Eh. Eh, maybe. Am I actually good versus Lusk, though? I mean, I have Miner's Gloves. So I don't know what I'm afraid of, but... Book 2 Lusk just does a lot of damage with the little Kamikaze buddies. The one thing I don't like is giving the uh, the tentacles in the Argoloth fight ink shield. That's that's like my number one concern, actually, is taking my first hit and saying that it doesn't exist. Now, generally speaking, our first hit is going to be hit, jumping on things with Crater, maybe bonking them, but um, or just using Incendiary, which we don't care if it does damage. So we can get away with it. I just don't like it. <laughs> I think we're going to take Radiant Market here. And hey, if we can get another four magic power by the end of this, then uh, we complete that quest. Do I need more money? I don't think I need more money. Vengeful. I could see using Vengeful here. We're going to drop our fish up here because I always forget it. Playing to the design error, if you will. If I'm going to cleave here, I want you to actually be dying. So maybe the move is to leap here. Cleave. We're wiggling down. Can we wiggle down some more? There we go. I'll pick that up. And then we're going to pretty much try to destroy you. But we can't. Which is important, because that's going to make you deal, like, triple damage. We should at least bonk you. We can get away with bonking you. It's going to shield us some. Can we hit you with this? We can probably hit you with this. Two birds, one stone. Okay. Can we get... No, nah, that's going to put you into a... Uh... Now, why would you put ink there and then spawn enemies there game 
Do you want to explain that to me? Oh, you're such a piece. Okay, it's vengeful time. I was hoping that I'd actually be able to get a little bit more mileage out of it, but it looks like that's not going to happen. So if I leap up here, take an orb, then that's going to give me enough to smash. Okay. This is honestly pretty simple. I am in the orb range. All right. Mm, Gosmer dream? For the quest? Are you giving me magic power? No. Like, how much do I want to believe in completing this quest? Gosmer Dream isn't bad. It's just not as good as Beat of Flame. Like, Beat of Flame is huge for us. Dear Lord. We could actually take Harold Sandals. Harold Sandals isn't looking too bad, because then we don't have to. Like, the only thing is, we get Crater every single turn, which we technically do when we interact with orbs anyways, but sometimes, depending on when you pick up the orb versus when you leap, it may not happen. It gets a little bit weird. Harold Sandals would make it so that absolutely we get to use our movement skill every single turn. Even when we don't pick up an orb. The problem is, is that if we don't take the green og for negative one cooldown, then we don't get the leap twice a turn, and it's currently generating heat for us. So I think we're still going to take Gosmer Dream. Never let your memes be a Gosmer Dream. And there's our cooldown. Oh, look! Someone left a brain tuna. What an idiot. We're just shy. I guess we technically did need money. <laughs> um, we don't really need to do any of this stuff here. I suppose what I could do is Smoldering Bonk. It's another way to get fire out there. But the, um, the blue that spreads fire instead is just better at that. So I'm almost thinking Prepared Incendiary. Like we're going to... We want to use it almost every single time that it's off cooldown. So let's make it something that we can use every single time off cooldown. The only other thing that I would do is reroll to gain a negative one cooldown so that we can use it every every turn. That seems pretty good too. In fact, we might just do that. I, I still forgot how much money I have. So the question is, I mean, we don't really have an option. Superior Vault isn't going to do it for us. Are we going to get enough doodads here? There's literally no doodads. We're going to just walk away from that blue, uh... I is sad. Unless there's a money pot here. Nope. Okay. You guys are phasing again? Hold up. No. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. Mark told me that was the case. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Okay, so they're done. This guy's going to gunk the middle. I really don't want him to gunk the middle. If I was to use Smash... You would die? I gotta do some maths. 
Oh, no, like, plus 50% on 400 is more than 509. So, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna get you, sucker. Thank you, crit. And so, I feel like what I want to do here is burn mercurial burn power orb I should bonk you just to reduce some of your damage and then get me the heck out of dodge and we're taking one damage who cares everything's burning to death Two more pots? You can't do this to me. Okay, this has to happen. Give me my power orb, please. I'd have to cleave from in here if that's what I want to do. Is that what I want to do? I'll tell you what, this isn't too bad. This is going to cause us to lose 8 HP. And then you're the one attacking down there. So you're not going to hit us. Um, I'm willing to trade 8 HP here. It honestly doesn't get rid of a lot of our damage, though, because a lot of our damage is actually just coming from you. But well, we have shielding, though. So it actually will get rid of a lot of our damage. Magic Pixel exists. Go ahead, hit you guys with the sauce. Pick up our power orb. Wiggle up. Can I actually hold up? Mm. Well, the cooldown is going to be back, so we can actually just go ahead and do this. Which saves us a lot of trouble. And then our burn is enough to take him out. Mm. Oh my good lord. Uh, we just win. Like. It's not okay. Um, KG's cage. I don't even know if this is. Okay, you know what? Training weights isn't necessary anymore. Is it? I guess we'll get rid of KG's cage. Oh, no, you know, that gives two. Everything gives us something, but um, we're going to have to get rid of KG's cage with like a defensive item anyways. Smite at least does something for us. Oh, man. Okay. This can replace training weights 100%. It's basically you, but better. And now we get to pick up orbs for free. Plus six burn damage. Um, Yeah, I think that's pretty good right now. I don't know why. A brain tuna. God, I just keep finding brain tuna lying around. You guys ever run into this shit? I'll be perfectly honest with you. I think this is a reroll. Because we'll guarantee the Scorching Bonk. Oh my dear lord. Okay, so. 
we inflict nine stacks of burn because we have infernal cascade plus whenever we kill something it will apply it to all nearby enemies which will then apply another plus four so let's just assume that we hit something with wildfire and it dies that's 12 then spread 16 to everybody Otherwise, we can go down to 4, which is actually 8, double it, which is plus 8, plus another 4. So then that's um, 20 stacks of burn on a single target. Is 20 stacks of burn on a single target good? I don't know. Like, we can, like, obviously prime them up and add some burn ahead of time. If we were going up against a single target boss, like Argoloth technically is, but we're not going to outburn Argoloth, I think. Not without Lava Lizard. Um, so, if we were up against like something like Cinder or Shadows of Runestone, I think Flashfire might be worth it. But I think that Wildfire is more our speed. Okay. Is this uh, event 2 or event 3? I think it's event 2? Because we just got a Binding Empowerment. Regardless, we can shop for something that gives us magic power. Or we can hit a Tethered Shrine. It was event two. Thank the Lord. Um, more physical power seems okay. Give me a glyph globe. I also should have known that that was uh, event two because we just got our first blue. Money pots. Oh, come on. Magic Pixel has to exist. You can't do this to me after all I've sacrificed. Uh, you guys are just dead. So I'm gonna just take this, jump down here... And, um, bonk you up once. <laughs> oh, my dear lord. It's too much. They're dead now, too. Yeah, Infernal Cascade's not okay. Goodbye up there. Alright. I will take two damage to murder everything. Okay, I can reach this. If I was to get a metric ton of heat, looking for that magic pixel down there. If I want to wiggle, it's going to cost me 4 HP. I'm not sure I care about wiggling. I'll be honest. This almost kills you? 
Why only almost? Maybe I do want to wiggle then? No. No, we're fine. Like, you're, you're dead anyways. That's terrifying. This blight bomb is really something else, though. And we still can't really kill you guys. Oi! Good thing we got a shop next. Blight bomb on swarmers. I think that's what did us in the last video, isn't it? Four physical power? Excuse me? God dang. I think we need to heal, though. More than four physical power, though? Like, come on. Is Captor really going to give us that much trouble? He immediately died. Um... Yeah, we've won. We should heal. We will re-roll this. Ex excuse me? This isn't exclusive? No. Does this work the way it reads it works? I certainly hope not. Unstave. There's our defense right there. Um, I think that can replace Blooming on... Yeah. And the up tier on the Ink Rito. If I re-roll... Well, let's go ahead and heal first, huh? If I re-roll... I will be able to buy a 1... No, I can't buy a 150. I'm 1 off. I would only be able to buy a green. How likely is a green to give me what I want? Not very. How likely is Gossamer going to be useful to me? Because we're definitely not getting the 5 magic power. Yeah, we're too off. I think Blooming Un is better for us. Simply because it just gives us ability power. Alright, let's do this. Oh no. So how much should this give? This should give six if it's good. Okay, so it's not busted. All right. I don't know how the prolif works, so that's probably much better than uh, anticipated. Okay. Can 
Can I hit? Yes, that's our ticket. And then are we able to get all three of you guys here? Yes. And I think we're good. Let's reposition. All the enemies are going to be like down hither. Alright. We're going to take some damage here. I think that's fine. Captor's dead. We're just trying to shield ourselves at this point. Two damage is fine. Alright. That was pretty easy breezy. We get to bring two fish into the Argoloth fight. One of which is damage resist. So we will be damage resist capped. Minus 2%. Uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking good. Um, if we take detonate, it's still bugged. So we will just absolutely... I mean, for the interest in the length of the video, we might do it. <laughs> just to um, phase Argoloth. I guess. It's an interesting concept. Yeah, okay. I'm going to state up front that this is bugged. This is going to add. Or already is. I don't think that's the case. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not the case. Because it'd be doing way much more than this. This 45, plus 45 damage is going to add to this per stack of burn. When it shouldn't. It's going to create ridiculous damage. I want you guys to be aware of that. Um, oversized smash isn't bad. It makes it so that we can hit the tentacle, one of the tentacles and Argoloth. But we're hoping to just like beat Argoloth. So let's get some free whack a to just spread more burn. Because if we can situate ourselves to where we're hitting a tentacle and Argoloth with whack a -bonk, it's just going to proliferate so much burn that, um, well, it's just not going to be okay. There we go. Perfect setup here. That's what we'd like to see. We're going to pull up a little bit of burn. Nope, you're not close enough. My apologies. dead anyways. Let's just uh, speed up that process a little bit. If you take one damage, that's fine by me. Stay, stay right up there, please. Perfect. One, two, I mean, you, you guys are already dead. And you're going to die due to the burn. I think we can finish you, though. Yep. Okay. Um, Malform Tracing. I don't think that any of that needs to happen. Bringing down our cooldown seems good, because that'll bring down Wildfire. What is that replacing? 
Quill Charm, maybe? I can see that replacing Quill Charm. Probably also could have rerolled there to try and get uh, Lava Lizard, because that would just seal the deal. Uh, let's take... We're literally doing nothing here. Let's look at our purple first. Um... Sure, give us more burn damage, why not? And then let's re-roll. 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 Mm. Re-roll. I was debating that crit chance. That physical power is also interesting. Okay, we're going to settle with two magic power, which is still pretty good considering that we changed detonate over. Without burn, it does literally no damage. Bone calcifier. Not really feeling that. If I re-roll, I can afford a blue, which is inkly map. Not happening. Okay. All right. Take care of this quick, huh? Because it turns out you don't need defense when you have game breaking bugs. not killing yet. Guess we're just going to cause a lot of burn then. That's still quite a lot. I underestimated our damage. Just a smidgen. Uh, you're still phasing. We would prefer not to kill your tentacles because we're probably going to want to do some like burn proliferation down here. So uh, instead, we're just going to bonk the ever living snot out of you. Jump down here. That shouldn't kill your tentacles. Thank you. And we're honestly good. Can I just hit you? I'd like to just hit you. Because if I crit, I reduce my cooldowns. We've got the pro lift back. Looking great. And we're good. Okay, now you guys have less... Uh, damage resistance. We hit everything. Make sure to get that... Uh, can I hit you too? Look out, gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. Oh, you really just... Magic Pixel really doesn't exist, huh? Okay, that's fine. It's not like I cared anyways. We're gonna take some damage here. Oh, I suppose I should also take these, huh? Pick this up. Wiggle on out. Got one more freebie. Uh, yeah, you're dying now. It was probably actually worth more to keep the burn on Argola. Might have been a misplay on our part. Probably was a misplay on our part. Okay. guys are done. Give me this. Guess I didn't need to pick that up because we uh, ink redoed. Those will hit you two. More burn out there. Now you're phasing. Okay. Okay. 
going to just spread a little bit more fire. Is this the... This is the petrifying gaze. Okay. I thought I saw that uh, light up. There we go. Let's get that free... Uh, free heat. Some more free heat. I have once again miscounted. We are fine though. We're just going to prolif a lot of burn. Did I pick up two orbs last turn? I probably did. That seems to be one I miscount. You're done. Give me that. Oh, you guys are under, literally underwater right now. But why? It's a little bit tricky. Where are the... There's going to be a tentacle here. Which sounds good to me. What if I was to do something like this? Is that actually worth more damage? Hmm, that'll kill me though. So we'll just wait here. Impatiently. Okay. Uh, you're dead. We just have to survive the turn, which we are somehow? I don't trust that at all like at all that'll do it all right anyways hopefully the uh, run was entertaining or at least educational if you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.